back with Bobby. We are in his box, in his breakout box. Did a past video. I'll leave a link down below in the description of that video. But Bobby had built a box, a DIY, a home brew. This thing is a bug out, all in one, ready to get on the air. And he brought that to our field day, which is this past summer. And, uh, and it worked very, very good. And when Bobby was building this, he took a handful of videos I didn't even know. So he since got a hold of me, got me the videos. I put them all together. And this is what we're going to check out. We're going to check out some of his builds, some of his thoughts he had along the way. Now, I wish I would have known Bobby was taking these videos. He did, a, he did a good job, but he did hold it vertically a lot, which I get. It's hard to do a project and hold the phone sideways. So heads up to all you guys out there. Try to hold your phone sideways, a landscape as they call it. But Bobby did some portrait. I kind of did some magical fuzz, whatnot. And that's what this video is, so let's check it out. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna start with. This is a really cool case. Okay, you look in here and you can see this thing goes all the way through. Sorry for the horrible lighting. You see uh, handles at the top. Actually, this is the bottom. And yeah, I already cheated. I already installed a, a USB in there, so. I, I, I'm, I'm in the middle of mock-up and starting the video a little late and somehow I'm gonna have to get all and I'm sorry about the scanner in the background I'm gonna have to get all this stuff somehow all of this stuff I don't know if you see all that stuff somehow all of this stuff a little bit of that stuff um, these things right there and uh we're gonna get the you know here's the back of the thing uh so i'm not really sure there is no plan i'm just kind of doing this now here's the two things that i've done i had this piece of aluminum and i've already cut it at the end over here i know it's a rough cut sorry and I already cut this piece of wood here that I'm thinking I'm using as a floor. It was kind of a shelf off of one of my dressers. <laughs> All right, so we'll put this thing. I'm going to try to get a uh, Yesu 891, a uh, 20 amp hour uh, lithium Palmer battery, uh, SWR, a tuner. Uh, Panasonic Toughbook laptop. Um, I guess a, a DMR uh, hotspot's going to be hooking up to it. It's going to have multiple power outlets, USB outlets. Here's like the, the tuner. Okay. And uh, here's the uh, head to the 891. Okay, so here is the installation of the new bracket. It's got your Anderson power pole, PL259. Of course, HRO had only the four inch one, so it's what I get for now. See the brackets mounted back there. That's a pretty good shot like that. So this aluminum frame that I've built out this shelf is working out quite well. So uh, I'm gonna have nice access to the back of the radio. Kind of panning around the project, trying to see what kind of stuff I can get there. So hopefully you can kind of see oh, the some of the finishing products here. And here's my tuner. Of course, they had to hand make custom brackets. And what's cool is these brackets uh, actually swing forward and back so I can actually remove it. Uh, with ease, a lot of custom, a lot of custom engineering went into this, really. But uh, we're almost uh, up to field day, so one more time, just making some final finals and uh, putting the faceplate on, and we're ready to rock and roll. The install complete. Check that out. All 
all those little brackets hand cut and fabricated and so now I get to put the place or the the face on the on it uh, and you can see I've got these uh, sorry if I'm turning my camera uh, you know these edges that I'm right now filing down Let's see if I can show you this here and I'm trying you can kind of see my markings there a little bit. I'm trying to get that, basically. Oh, wow. I don't know. Is it me? Or is that a pretty damn good fit? So, right there is my best that I can do as far as my measurements. Hope you see that. So here we go. It's gonna go right up in there. Super snug fit. That's supposed to be cut out there. I've measured going up from there, checking out these angles. So I'm just trying to show you what I've been doing here. If I can give you some shots. You know, really pressing this thing up here, eyeballing everything. There's, there's no magic to this, man. I am just measuring and eyeballing and praying to God. Wish me luck. Here's your final product. Now, this made it out to the last few hours of field day, Sunday, and Fairfield. So now, this is essentially your reveal of the uh, Bobby Lee bug out box a fully self-contained HF rig RTR ready to run plug and play here we go I hope you guys are ready for this all right <laughs> I forgot that part wasn't sitting on the table. So, that being said, <laughs> let me just take the dangling mic that uh, will go right there. Look at that. Well, the speaker's right behind this. So, what I'm going to do is uniquely put a grid of holes here that's going to be a speaker. And it will be covered with mesh on the inside. Uh, but it's just going to be a nice speaker there. That's about the only thing now. <laughs> Look at that mic cable. Oh, that is that not cool? Anyway, uh, Yesu 891, uh, MFJ Auto Tuner, and uh, Diamond SWR. So, uh, we'll get into the rest of it in a second. I'm just going to pan around for you guys. Again... Here's your dual USB ports. Power in and out. Cigarette lighter plug. Now, part of my emphasis and the most difficulty of this build was exactly this. To house my Panasonic Toughbook Okay, yeah, you saw the cord that powers this when you want to do uh, 120 power. But this is the toughest part of the build, was getting this tough book in here. And so, uh, it's just a little foam thing I haven't glued to the top that uh, keeps the tough book kind of... And then the other thing that I didn't do was I haven't mounted a rail right here that is going to support the tough book from sliding this direction. Um, so there's a few little things I still have to do. Uh, but this is what you got, people. There's the uh, power works, power supply, the back of the diamond SWR. Uh, here you've got your uh, 
output HF, solar in, power out. I'll explain later. There's the 891. There's the Epic Power Gate. An amazing power management system that, honestly, for all you guys that want to have uh, the ability to switch from uh, a power outage to uh, backup DC power or solar power in the midst of emergency, this Epic uh, Power Gate, I don't know if you can see that in there, um, does it all for you automatically. So, a uh, little power inverter hidden right there in the corner with the cord. I pull that out. That'll power the laptop. It'll plug right into the cigarette lighter port. And I don't know if you can see uh, this stuff. There's your uh, battery stuck right there in the, the, the uh, corner. That's a 20 amp hour uh, LiPo. That's actually 12.8 volts, not your BioNO 12 volts. So uh, uh, here's the back of the radio. You can see how I can access the ports somewhat easily. I get that. Uh, I'm trying to give you guys the best that I can of use. But uh, uh, needless to say, here we go. So uh, coming around here, you can see... Uh, uh, I've got another USB port over there. Okay, so here's the deal. Come over here. You go to field day. And instead of uh, collaborating uh, uh, all of your paraphernalia out of boxes and bags and things, you take this, you open it up, and you do this. Well, okay, you do this after you hook up your antenna. Now you'll have to excuse the lack of good video. I don't have good lighting tonight. We'll turn this down. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, you know, it is on... Uh, uh, 14335 was the last thing, but I think because of the lighting that you're not going to be able to see that maybe. But here you go. This is it, bro. And uh, anybody else? 2MC? Anybody to be inspired? Here's the deal. Challenge your mind. Take advantage of the times that are shutting us down where we're locked up. And uh, inspire yourself to do something that makes you feel better than being clammed up. And, uh, you know, challenge your mind. And look, this came with no plans. This is a garage build with emphasis of using parts that are in a drawer on a shelf sitting around. And I built a fully capable, self-contained, global emergency communications apparatus that uh, is RTR plug and play with the ability to umbilically connect additional batteries in parallel with all the USB and the cigarette lighter functions you're going to be able to power your iPads your hotspots your cell phone other chargers that might charge your uh, HTs and things in that, you know, honestly, right back there is an SDR play hooked up to a TR switch in the front so it will work off your HN HF antenna and it will not be compromised when you PTT. It will be grounded and protect the SDR play from being blown up by your RF solar power input right here we got uh, battery you got uh, the power supply coming in you got your power going out all of it managed by one device that is plug-and-play fully self-contained and this is what I can tell you guys. If you ever doubted yourself like I did, let this be proof that if I can do it, 
you can do it. Uh, two meter crew, you guys are the bomb and what you stand for. I wanted to be a little bit of a part of it and try to represent in a grand fashion just to contribute and give back. So God bless you all. I hope you stay healthy, thrive, stay safe, and we'll look forward to hearing you on the air. KD6, KWV, 7-3. All right, Bobby, great job. Thank you for sharing that. What do you guys think? I thought that was pretty cool. A little bit of a Blair Witch feeling as well, <laughs> but I liked it. It was good, Bobby. Thank you for doing that. It's not easy to video while building. Um, you guys have any comments or questions down below, of course, or check him out on QRZ, KD6KWV. He also has a Yesu Wires X room. Him and a few other people have been building a C4FM Yesu Fusion repeater here in Northern California. So this is uh, kind of brand new for the area. So check it out. And uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. 7-3.